Oh, hey there. Hey, Tawanda. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. It's been a busy summer season. Are you ready for a quick question session? Absolutely. All right. Please introduce yourself. So, my name's Tawanda Chiesa. I'm a line captain, line training captain, line check captain, and flight safety officer for the Boeing 737 MAX here at SmartLinks. Nice to meet you. For how long have you been working at SmartLinks already? I've been at SmartLinks for eight months now. Why aviation? So, when I was six years old, I decided I wanted to be an airline pilot and uh, never changed my mind. As we say in aviation, the bug bit, and it's never left me since. Your favorite airport to land at? Uh, Tenerife South. Favorite crew meal? I like them all, but uh, chicken is definitely my favorite. Favorite layover destination? Hmm, uh, Dubai. Boeing or Airbus? <laughs> oh, you're serious, uh, Boeing. Your secret hotel hack? So, I tend to fill the bathroom sink up with water, and uh, this creates a bit more humidity and stops the air conditioning from drying the air out. How many block hours have you flown this summer? I've done just under 600 hours this summer. Any hidden talents? I play piano. Oh, who's your favorite composer? Uh, Beethoven. Coffee or tea? Coffee. With milk? Uh, yeah. Any sugars? Yes. How many sugars? One sugar. What car are you driving? An Audi S5. Favorite F1 driver? Be Lewis Hamilton. The greatest achievement in your career to date? So that would be when I became a line training captain for the first time because it gave me a chance to take all the knowledge and, and uh, experience that I had and allow me to pass it on to new pilots coming in. Best aviation movie? Top Gun 2. Long haul or short flights? Uh, long haul, definitely. What's the coolest thing about Boeing's interior? Oh, I'll show you. So we have a panel here that controls uh, all the different lighting scenarios that we have, which is nice uh, and comfortable for the passengers. So here we have the sunrise sunset theme. Can I have a look at the cockpit? Absolutely. Come with me. Oh, this looks stunning. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. What's your most memorable landing? Uh, so it was when I flew my parents, my mom and dad, for the first time to Canada. Any hobbies in your spare time? I actually run a small record label. Oh, nice. Excluding the lifestyle, would you ever want to fly a fighter jet? Yeah, looks like fun. Is there any unwritten rule what to do when passing other pilots in the airport? Well, normally if you make eye contact, it's nice to just give a little nod, you know, a little hello, I see you. How do you wake up for early morning flights? What's your routine? Uh, with great difficulty. Um, normally I'll set my alarm clock, probably about three or four of them, uh, set the uh, phone as far away from the bed as possible, take a cold shower and uh, yeah, try and wake myself up. What has been the most beautiful view you have ever seen from the cockpit? So aside from the usual northern lights and uh, shooting stars, uh, a few years ago in the summer there was an American philanthropist launched a disco ball into orbit. So we're flying over the Atlantic one evening and uh, we could see it in the distance. It was pretty cool. Awesome. Sounds amazing. Favorite SmartLink space? Berlin. Your dream flight destination? Uh, I'd love to land in Zanzibar. What was it like when you took off for the first time as a captain? It's pretty uh, exciting actually. You get everybody on the airplane, they close the doors and you look around and you think, it's all mine. <laughs> What's your advice for potential colleagues? I'd say SmartLinks is a very dynamic and interesting operation. Uh, there's lots of different projects, uh, no two days are the same. You can fly anywhere in the world, and uh, if that's your kind of thing, it's a great place to be. Really exciting times uh, with great expansion, so lots of opportunities as well. Uh, so I hope you will uh, join SmartLinks, and we look forward to seeing you on the line.